my first Valentine's sans amour, but just because I don't have a man doesn't mean I don't have a plan. It's a day about love, and I'm gonna love myself. Can I watch? <laughs> Can I watch you watch? You know, Dee Dee, I wrote that love myself speech, and it sounds just as pathetic coming from you. So what about you guys? I'm just gonna hit up a club after 11. Anybody still on their own at that hour on Valentine's is pretty easy pickings. <laughs> As for me, I'm hooking up with Franco again. We've agreed to spend every Valentine's together if we're still single. This will be 10 years running. <laughs> Franco's such a loser. Then stop seeing him. Mm, but he's gorgeous and he'll be naked before I unlock the door. <laughs> God, I can't wait until he gets here. Hey, Jenna. Did you get that candy from your Valentine? No, I bought it to taught the models at my agency. <laughs> Those tall, skinny coat racks. <laughs> the only reason they're in a good mood lately is because they all have boyfriends to be with on Valentine's. Yes, well, who doesn't? <laughs> only ask me. I'm sure I'd rather have a man, but you know, at least I'm not lying about how I'm going to love myself. <laughs> Katie, I told you, this is a sports agency, okay? We do not have tiny little hearts hanging from the desks. <laughs> cup of joy as usual <laughs> maybe you could show a little more kindness since the season of love is upon us oh no yep you caught the sickness just like the rest of them <laughs> love 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 <laughs> Blech. you know people like you make me want to put half cream half cyanide in my coffee you really could stand to embrace the spirit of Valentine. Thorn, it is an artificial holiday. I mean, it's not like we're acknowledging the uh, birth of the Messiah, or the resurrection, or the return of the great pumpkin. No, 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 it's all about men buying expensive things for women who then turn around and break their hearts into millions of tiny little pieces. Ooh, I'm sensing a little Valentine's Day massacre in your past. My fiance broke up with me on that day. I don't care to discuss. Well, Brett, maybe your heart would heal if you would give yourself over to the holiday. Yeah? Well, you know, I think that people in love should just give themselves over to a cliff. <laughs> Have a nice day. Or a bad day. Doesn't really matter. This is nice. Yeah, and this is only a regular night. Think of how nice it would be if this were a special night. You know, it comes around once a year, special night. Maybe any night with you is special. Oh, that's sweet. But if there were a really special night, say sometime soon, what would be your idea of a good way to celebrate it? Every time I look in your eyes, it's a celebration. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh. But if it did. <laughs> you know what? I promised I'd help close the bar. But I'll be in Napa on Friday, but be back for the weekend. So, uh, don't make plans. Because you pizza? Sure. We'll, we'll grab a pizza or something. <laughs> bye, beautiful. And bye, beautiful's beautiful mom. Marry that man now. <laughs> Such an incredible guy. Almost as good as my sweetie, Glenn, who has declared it Valentine's week. This was today's gift. <laughs> Where's the bottom to that? Actually, I thought this was a bottom. <laughs> but who cares? It'll fit around something. Oh. <laughs> Why do I ask questions that I don't want the answers to? Because I raised you to be curious and not grumpy like you are now. What's going on? I don't think that Chase has made any plans for Valentine's Day. Well, what we used to call pathetic, we now call empowerment. So take the initiative. Make your own damn plans. Well, is that what you're doing? No, no, my man loves me. <laughs> and Brett's been in such a bad mood lately, he's making everybody miserable, especially me. I've got to get him off our backs, especially mine. <laughs> oh, this one is simple. Brett obviously needs female companionship. Maybe you can help him find a lady friend. Mom, that is not the answer to everything. Of course not. Tasty alcoholic beverages are the answer to everything. <laughs> in my experience, when men are cranky, they need some hanky-panky. <laughs> and in your father's case, a little spanky. <laughs> I 
I hope that's the alcohol talking. <laughs> This just really needs a hit record, Spence. That's why I'm hoping our project with Smooth Vinyl works out. <laughs> Spencer speaking. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Naomi, girl, what's up? How are things at Smooth Vinyl? Naomi Dawson again. You'll have it tomorrow. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Ciao, Bella? Naomi brings out my international side. Yeah, well, she brings out my ugly side. I know that you have to work with her on the marketing, but I just want to make sure she doesn't try to steal Adonis like she stole Big Fat Slim Jim. Hey, just because Naomi signed more artists than you doesn't mean you have to hate. And Mona, you are hating. My problem with her is strictly professional. She does this for the buyers and this for the programmers. Of course, a big old tease. I'm cool with all of that. Hello, children. Time for show and tell. This is a beautiful gay man. Hola. <laughs> His name is Bronco, and he's mine for the weekend. Hey, I'm Spencer. Hi, I'm Mona. It's nice to finally meet you. And Mona, if you come to my salon, I could do wonders with your hair. Well, maybe not wonders, but I could do better. <laughs> I hear you're from Miami. What's happening down there? You a native? No, I'm originally from the Twin Cities. Sodom or Gomorrah? <laughs> That just gets funnier every time you say it. <laughs> Mona, do you mind if I use the loom? Oh, it's up the hall to the right. Just push my lacy things aside. I sure will, right after I try them on. <laughs> I just like to shut the straighties. <laughs> <laughs> He's so on my nerves already. <laughs> I gotta get rid of him. All he does is talk about himself and make fun of other people. Who could be friends with somebody like that? <laughs> Jenna, I have a proposition for you. Oh, sorry, Dee Dee. Even if I were desperate enough to switch teams, you're not my type. <laughs> Good to know I'm being overlooked by both men and women on Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, what I meant was I wanted to set you up on a blind date. There's this guy. Oh, do it, lock it, tell me where. <laughs> I don't know, Thorne. I just think going out on Valentine's is the perfect way to take the edge off and stop you from making assistants cry. Maybe I like being bitter, you know? Maybe the uh, lack of distraction fuels my success. Or maybe you're just afraid to spend time with a beautiful, sexy woman. Are you talking about yourself, Thorne? I'm not that demented. Fine, Brett Mahoney isn't afraid of anything. Not except certain spiders. I don't care to discuss. All right, tell your friend she's got a date. She just better be prettier than I am. Hey, I wasn't expecting to see you till Saturday. Well, I missed you. Plus, your sofa ate my nano again. <laughs> it must really like Kanye. What's this? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. Your book and a candlelight dinner on a boat? Yeah, it's a surprise for Saturday. Surprise! <laughs> so you made Valentine's Day plans for us? Well, yeah, I mean, you didn't seem to have any. So here's the rundown. We are picked up by a limo and driven to a boat. We will take a moonlight cruise where we'll enjoy dancing and dining. Then a limo ride home where we'll indulge in passionate sex with Valentine's Day protection. <laughs> Followed by morning after French toast. <laughs> so did you schedule a kiss too? Well, I was thinking after the crystal, but before the body gel, and somehow I don't think that's what you mean. So you just assumed that I wasn't going to do anything special for our first Valentine's Day? Oh, I didn't assume. I was pretty sure. <laughs> wow. That says a lot. And I'm not just assuming that. I'm pretty sure. Happy Valentine's Day Eve, baby. Not for me. Because I took your advice, Chase and I had a fight. Guess you picked a bad day to start listening to me. <laughs> Here, take this chocolate heart Glenn gave me. I have 12 more at Fellas, Coco and I are on the way to the dog show at the Armory. I invite you to go with us, but I'm afraid you might win. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to find your mute button. I understand why you're in a bad mood. It's Valentine's 
Valentine's. Well, don't be down, Phyllis. Think of all those hundreds of Ben and Jerry's workers you've kept employed all these lonely years. I say, double chins up. Excuse me, but I have a Valentine. So tonight, when Charles gets on his stepladder to give you a kiss, remember which one of us is kissing hot young lips and which one of us is wiping off old mustache dye. Hey, Spence, we need to get started on the... Oh, Naomi, I didn't know you were going to be here. I just thought it'd be good for the three of us to have a little FaceTime before this record drops. Good idea. We done? <laughs> Mona, I know you see us as rivals, but I don't. We need to support each other professionally, not fight over scraps. You mean scraps like Big Fat Slim Jim? Scraps that I discovered, that I groomed, that I made platinum, that you stole? Oh, was Usher a scrap when you pushed me out of the way to get to him in 98? Yeah, I'm still a little bitter about that one. <laughs> Girl, there's a reason why they call the past the past. I mean, why compete when our careers aren't even on the same track? <laughs> yeah, Naomi's in charge of A&R and marketing in her label, and she's gonna be on the cover of Vibe next month. Well, la-dee-da. <laughs> Spence, you don't have to brag on me. You know, Naomi, there was a time when I just smile and let your arrogance slide, but that time is not now, so get your ass up out my chair. <laughs> Well, this has been excruciatingly uncomfortable. Kind of how Mona's feet must always feel. Be mine. Heartthrob. Ah, oh, puppy love. Don't make me crush the candy. There's something I need to tell you. No, no, me first. I know it's our 10th Valentine's together, and you have been the world's best date all these years. <laughs> okay, you're done. <laughs> Let's talk about last night. But you didn't let me finish. Well, it takes you so damn long. <laughs> there are prescriptions for that. I admit you didn't let me finish what I was gonna say. I think we need a major change in our relationship. Oh, I'm so glad you think so, too. That's why I'm moving to San Francisco, so we can be together all the time. <laughs> Say what? I've realized the reason there's never been anyone else for us is because we are searching for something we already have. A commitment-free annual bang? <laughs> Love. So I'm moving in with you. And finding a job is no problem. There are plenty of hairstyling opportunities here. Do you see? It's a sign. <laughs> talk to somebody about Chase. I've ruined everything, just like I do every time I get a man. I I'm sorry, did I come at a bad time? Yes, thank you. Come in. <laughs> I'll get you a tissue, hon. And maybe some mousse. <laughs> Don't leave me alone with him. That man is trying to move in with me. Moving in? You told me you never wanted to see him again. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> Damn this small apartment. <laughs> Do you know what else seems small? My problems. Bye. Okay, fine. You're suffocating me. Yeah? Well, those glasses make you look fat. <laughs> and you need to toss the spray bottle, sister, because no one's believing that man tan. <laughs> and you are incapable of loving anybody but yourself. Look at that Adam Warhol. The head is almost actual size. <laughs> and the head is your one-man show. Which one? All of them. I mean... For the Asians and a mule? Talk about pretentious. Pretentious? Your name's not even Franco. It's Francis. Emphasis on the sis. That was beneath you. I'll tell you one thing that's never gonna be beneath me again. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, this doesn't mean I'm not still mad at you. I knew it all along, Thorne. This was just an elaborate plan to get to me. It was inevitable, you know? I mean, who could resist all this? Everything you said is so wrong on so many levels. I'm just here to witness my matchmaking magic. Okay, all right. And I'll admit, it actually feels good to have a Valentine's date. Maybe it'll help erase the memory of that hideous night last year with Jenna. You got a problem with the name Jenna? 
No, no, not, not the name, just the cold-hearted hag who owns a modeling agency in our building. <laughs> There's a cold-hearted hag who owns a modeling agency in our building? Oh, who knew? I gotta go make a call. Dee it's so nice of you to be here to introduce us. Is that him? Not much hair, huh? Uh, yes, but no. I made a mistake. What? You see, that guy, he's a serial killer. Who knew? Jenna? Brett? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I think the real question is, what am I doing here? Bye. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> You set me up with my ex-fiance? Are you friggin' kidding me? Brett, I didn't know. You two seem perfect for each other. We were perfect for each other until she told me to eat my engagement ring and die. I said please. <laughs> and I believe it was you that I caught doing a body shot off a stripper. Oh, I was with a client. You were always with clients, Brett. Jenna, I told you I live this, okay? I mm. breathe this. I am... Yeah! We've all heard the speech. <laughs> You're already in a pretty deep hole. You want to keep on digging? No! I'm done. Can I leave now? No. Me first. If we kill a few hours, my friend Spencer will be here trolling for losers. <laughs> I have to say, I'm impressed with your marketing plan. You're very talented. <laughs> Greatness has always been my destiny. I've just been pacing myself. <laughs> You know, we probably shouldn't tell Mona about us going out and having drinks. Yeah, we wouldn't want her to tell you to get your ass up out of this booth. <laughs> I'm surprised someone as cute as you doesn't have a date tonight. I was gonna say the same thing to you. Although it is Valentine's and we are out together. So I guess we both do have dates. I guess we do. Happy Valentine's Day. I didn't know if I was going to see you tonight. Of course you were going to see me. <laughs> Baby, we really got to work on this having faith in your man thing. <laughs> oh, Chase, I am so sorry. I guess I just panicked when you never mentioned Valentine's Day and I wasn't trying to steal your romantic thunder. It's just, I've been disappointed a lot in my life, so I tend to rely on myself. Well, now you can rely on me. And if you like that, then you'll love this. Already packed your bag, and I'm taking you somewhere special for the weekend. Oh, where, where, where? Tell me, tell me, tell me where. <laughs> Do you trust me, Mom? I trust you. Then I just got my gift. Yeah, yeah. I think you should. Because every day will seem to be Valentine's Day. You know, you should actually be grateful. Because of me, you finally faced your pain, and now the real healing can begin. You really think I was going to buy that? I was hoping. Okay, all right, maybe you were right on one count. You know, seeing Jenna again did give me some closure, so I think it all worked out for the best. See, I knew it was a good thing. It was. I mean, the woman didn't even have a date for Valentine's Day. How pathetic is that? <laughs> Oh, somebody had a good Valentine's. Indeed I did, but how did you know? That smile on your face? I know that smile. I've given lots of women that smile. <laughs> so what lucky woman is wearing one today because of you? Man, it was just me and my cat Smokey on the sofa this year. Gotta give the Bay Area babes a breather every once in a while. <laughs> Couldn't find a date, huh? Not even with cash. <laughs> this is my worst Valentine's Day ever. I would have had more fun donating bone marrow. Same time next year. You've got a date. 